Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make your very own 5M server. First thing you're gonna wanna do is download the latest recommended artifacts um, for 5M, which is stated on step one. Um, by the way, this PDF file is gonna be linked in the description below if you guys wanna go ahead and download it or um, look at it. But the first thing you wanna do is download the latest recommended artifacts. So you're just gonna go to Google um, and search up 5M artifacts and it's gonna be the very first link. You're gonna click this blue button right here. And then we're going to just download it in our downloads. And then as soon as that's done downloading, we're just going to go ahead and open it. And you won't need this anymore, so you can go ahead and close it. So then after you download it, you're going to see all these files. You're going to want to create a new folder on your computer and just drag all of these files into that folder. So I already created one right here. And we are going to just control A and drag everything to that folder. And then once this process is done, we can close this and we're gonna look for the file that's named fxserver.exe and open it. So let's look for that file, it's right here. And you're just gonna wanna double click it. And then you're just gonna let this run. Um, I'm gonna have to blur this because it is gonna show my IP. So I will blur that. So you're just gonna click yes. And then this should autofill, but if it doesn't autofill, um, the pin is right here. And you're just going to want to click link account and you're going to log in to your main 5M account. Or if you made an account just for the server, you can log into that as well. And you're going to want to type realistically any password. So I'm going to just do, I'm just putting a password. Then after you just want to click, I have read and agreed to all the terms and create master account. And then here, we're going to go back to our doc here. So we already did this and we created a password. Now we just want to click next. So we just click next. You can really put anything. So I'm going to just do um, just YouTube just for the tutorial purposes, but you can put whatever you want. And then you're going to click on popular recipes right here. Click on popular recipes. And um, here it's pointed to this one, but if you read it, it says you can choose any of the popular recipes. So whatever you want. If you want just a base server with no scripts, if you want an ESX server, QB core, you know, so on. So for this tour, we're just going to do ESX and this should automatically create a new folder inside of here. So as you can see, we're in the YouTube. It's just going to create this. It's going to right right here. And then it's going to create the new folder called ESX legacy in here. What you can do is you can go back to this main folder, go here. And you can just copy the path. You want to change the path right here. And now we're just going to do slash. We can just do server. And that's fine. And then you can just click save. So that's going to create a new folder here called server. And that's where all your files are going to be. And then after you do that, go ahead and go to go to the recipe deployer. This is all good. Do not touch any of this and then just click next. And then here you're going to want to click on this green key master button. It's going to take us to our key master account. Just verify you're a human sign into your 5M account. It should ask you to uh, log in. Mine's already logged in. And then you're going to go ahead and go to new servers and just fill in this information. And then once that's done, it'll take you back to this page and then you should have only one. I obviously have multiple, um, but I'll just use a random one. And you're just going to want to copy the key. And then you're going to head back. Sorry, we're going to want to head back to the recipe deployer. And you're going to want to paste in your key right here. And then another thing is for this, since it is a local host, you don't have to fill anything in, but you will have to download MariaDB which I will put a link in the description for that. So you guys can just go ahead and download that. And then you can go ahead and run the recipe. And then you're just going to let this load. Everything is going to download. And as soon as this is done, it's going to take you to the server CFG where you can um, set up all the perms. You can even change the server name, um, like the way it would appear on the list um, and all that extra fun stuff. So I'll be right back as soon as this is done. Okay. Once this is done, you're just going to want to click next. 
And as you can see here, the server name is just going to name itself whatever you put before, and then it's going to add this at the end. So you can either delete this, um, put whatever name, just make sure that you leave both of these quotes here. Do not delete them because or else it's going to mess up everything. And you're going to leave everything the same and go to save and run server. And then we're just going to let this load. It's going to need to start yarn. Um, which it will do on its own and then same thing with the chat and webpack all of that is going to be installing on its own and I'll be right back as soon as everything is done installing okay as you can see it started the chat and everything started after all that we're just going to want to restart your server to make sure that everything did install correctly and after the restart we'll just wait for this to load so you can see everything loaded in perfectly. We have no errors, nothing at all. And now we're going to want to load into 5M. So we're just going to search for 5M and load into that. And I'll be right back as soon as I load into the server. And as you can see, we loaded into our server. We're just going to fill this in um, like you would realistically do in any server. Um, Of course, every server is going to look different because they all have different scripts. Uh, but we're just going to want to fill this in, create. We have our skin menu. We can see our character. And then we're just going to click enter on that. Let everything load. And there you go. Now you have your very own 5M server with an economy. Um, you even have um, garages, clothing stores, driving school, a hospital, um, just shops in general, dealership, etc. You have everything you need. Obviously, it is good to customize it. Um, because it's just a base server that uh, 5M realistically just gives everyone. Um, so there's obviously scripts you can buy like an inventory because the inventory is just a menu and, and things like that. But that's how you install a an ESX legacy, legacy server. So I hope I made it easier for you guys to follow the guide. Um, of course, I will be giving you guys this PDF file so you guys can just read through it. If you guys don't want to rewatch the video next time, you can just read through it. Um, but yeah, that's how you get it done. I hope I hope I made your guys' life easier. Uh, just make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications because I'll try to post at least a couple videos every, every day um, on how to do certain things. The next video will be on how to install um, an inventory system. So if you guys do want to see that, just make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out uh, when I do release that video. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.